get good grades, get into the best university, secure a high paying job. Congratulations, you made it. Growing up, this was the success framework by which my friends and I judged ourselves. If you met those requirements, you were a rock star destined for greatness, especially in my home country, India, where the competition is so fierce and the opportunities so few. Kids would give up everything if it meant securing a six figure salary. But what if there's a missing piece to this age old formula for success? A piece so essential that it cannot be ignored. It challenges the assumption that status and wealth make you stand out. Emotional intelligence is that missing piece. Emotionally intelligent people stand out more than wealthy or important people. Their ability to stay calm in stressful situations make them stick out like a sore thumb. They are caring and considerate and always communicate their thoughts with grace. We all need to build our emotional intelligence like these people. And in this video, I will show you how. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now, the first technique to build our emotional intelligence is called know thyself. Now, becoming emotionally intelligent means getting in touch with your emotions. To diagnose the problem, you must identify the problem. The problem is that most of us don't spend time with ourselves. We don't ask ourselves tough questions. What is making me weak? Why do I get angry so often? What is the root cause behind my insecurities? Self-awareness involves asking ourselves why we are the way we are. As Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Now, my favorite way to practice self-awareness is to set aside 10 minutes daily with my journal. No gadgets, no distractions, no friends, nothing. Just me and my pen. I ask myself hard-hitting questions and write until I get it all out. This will be an uncomfortable experience in the beginning, but I encourage you to lean into it. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Don't be hard on yourself. Growth lies in moments like these. So that's the first way to know thyself. Now, the second way to practice emotional intelligence is to be a practitioner, not a theorist. Now, theorists think, practitioners do. It's not enough to be self aware of our faults. We need to put our newfound awareness into practice. After all, what's the point of being aware of your anger issues if you still raise your voice every time? To become the person you want to be, you must get your hands dirty. By acting on your insecurities, you will close the gap between who you are and who you are capable of being. In that gap is where all your insecurities lie. The smaller the gap, the greater our emotional intelligence. So that's the second key way to be a practitioner, not a theorist. Now, the third way to improve our emotional intelligence is to simply be kind to others. Now, emotional intelligence isn't solely just an inner journey of self-improvement. It's a skill that requires us to externalize ourselves by empathizing with and accepting others. One can even make a case that the greater your emotional intelligence, the stronger your relationships. By acknowledging other people's feelings, we are creating space for collective growth. We are being the change we want to see in the world. We don't expect anything in return from our friendships. We just ask to pay the kindness forward. After all, kindness is contagious. Now to wrap this video up, I want to share one final closing thought, and that is that I firmly believe that a more emotionally intelligent society is the answer to many of humanity's problems. If you think about it, wars, corruption, and racism are issues that stem from a lack of emotional intelligence. So we must remember that no matter how scary, cruel, or chaotic life gets, we can navigate it with courage, wisdom, and emotional intelligence. So on that note, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in more philosophy or self-development content, then consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.